Hello and welcome to 6502 Assembly Language Programming on the Commodore 128. Um, this one would actually apply to any 6502 machines um, other than the particular location of the video RAM here, but the, the concepts would translate to any other system. Um, this one I'm doing as sort of a, an extension of the last coding video I did because as I was working on that, um, the, the worm video, uh, part three, as I was working on it, I realized we needed to do this pointers to pointers, which wasn't something I expected to get into, and I didn't think my explanation as code was necessarily very clear, so I thought it might, be, might help if I drew it out on, on the whiteboard here and gave a little bit of a demonstration uh, visually of what's going on, because um, pointers to pointers are kind of a tough concept, um, although I think they're actually easier in assembly to me, at least, they look easier in assembly than they do in a higher level language like C, but uh, we'll see what happens here. We've got three different areas of RAM or, or memory that we care about here. Um, one is the video RAM. This is where we put the characters that we want actually displayed on the screen. It runs from 0400 to 7E7, and all these numbers are hexadecimal, by the way just by, by default, because that's just easier. Um, then, and so that's, that's where those characters go. Each location is 8 bits, can hold a character. Then we have a section of RAM from 2000 to 27FF that is going to be our pointer list, which will point to the locations of the worm characters. And this could be anywhere in RAM that's available. I just picked 2000 to 27FF because it was, I knew it was empty, um, but you could put it somewhere else, it doesn't matter. Um, this is 2,000 characters, this is 2,000 bytes long, and the reason I made it 2,000 bytes long is the screen has 1,000 characters, you know, 1,000 potential locations that the worm could travel through. Um, it's actually not quite that many in our game because we have a border the worm can't go through, but it would be a maximum of 1,000, and each location if you look at a location like like 0627 here, it takes two bytes to represent that address. It's a 16-bit, it's an 8-bit processor, but it's a 16-bit addressing system. And so it takes two bytes to represent something like 0627. And so each one of these pointers takes two bytes. And we'll, we'll see an example of that as we get into it here. Um, and so we need 2,000 bytes to hold 1,000 pointers, potentially up to 1,000 pointers. And so that's what those are all going to be. And I'm just showing the first 16 bytes here, which is 8 pointers, and that'll be enough for our demonstration. But potentially it can run through all 2,000 and then start over at the beginning. It's going to be a rolling first in, last out. Um, yeah. Yeah, first it's going to be a rolling first in, last out. Um, sort of a stack thing. Then we have a couple of locations in zero page and they're in zero page mainly because they're faster there and also they have to be there to do what we're going to do to do the indirect pointer stuff that we do with them so they have to be here. Um, at B6 we put head P which is short for head pointer and at B8 we put tail P and these are going to point to pointers in the list of pointers, which are then going to point to locations of video RAM. And that's why we call these pointers to pointers or double pointers, is they point to pointers which then point to something else. So if you in C you would head P would be some would be defined something like this star star head P which means this head P is a pointer to a pointer to a character. So this is a pointer to a pointer to a character in memory. We don't, you know, we're not dealing with a language like that. We're just doing it um, with numbers. So both of these then are going to always be pointing to a pointer which points to the location of that thing. So head P is going to be pointing to the pointer which points to wherever the head character is and tail P is going to be pointing to a pointer which points to where the ta tail character is. That probably seems unnecessarily complicated. Why not just have head P point to the head and have tail P point to the tail 
the problem is, and that's what I was originally going to do until I got started doing it, I realized that, that isn't going to work. The reason is that you've got your, your worm going along, here's the head, here's the, here's the body of the worm, let's say, and you've wound around like this, you've gone around this way. When this tail character disappears, you've got to then know that this is the next tail character so that this can be the next one to disappear. Because when the worm moves along, now the worm moves to there, you've got to be able to get rid of this tail character. And now maybe the worm moves to here, this becomes a body character, you've got to know to get rid of this tail character. So you've got to be able to tell which one is the next closest to the tail. You've got to have these, you've got to be keeping track of these in order from head to tail. And that's what this is, that's what this list of pointers is going to be about. So that's why we have to have pointers to pointers to our characters. Um, so let's, let's go, let's walk through it here. We start out the game, we put the head here. That's just, we just chose that location. Um, so we put the head at 600, and we put it in the pointer list. So there's 600. Now you have to remember that on the 6502, addresses are always little Indian, which it probably sounds like I'm saying little Indian, like Hiawatha or something, but it's little Indian, which means the, the small bite comes, the low bite comes first. The bottom part of the address, the zero, 00 in this case, comes first. That'll be here at 2000. And then the high byte, the, the 06, comes second. That's just, the way the, that's just the way the hardware works. Addresses and memory are always, um, are always held that way. So you just get used to it after a while. But anytime you're looking at an address, if you're looking at the address that starts at 2000, you're looking at 0600. Okay. So this pointer then points to there. This at 2000 there's a pointer and remember each pointer takes up two bytes and that's why I drew this kind of the way I did dividing them into pairs because here's a pointer and it's pointing to 0600. Then we point we pointed head P to that pointer by putting its address in head P. So the address of this pointer is 2000. So again low byte first, we put that in head P. Okay, and we did we did all this in the code already that we did. Um, this is just drawing it out to, to try to demonstrate. Um, and so now head P points to here, 2000 points to here, and then that holds a pointer which points to the head character, where the head character is in video RAM. Now what I didn't do yet previously is tail P also should be pointing there because for now we only have one character it's head and tail both and so boy we'll point that right there too so these are both now pointers to pointers to the head you know to the head character to the tail character of our worm <clears throat> now if, let's 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 show the screen here by the way so we've stuck the head character somewhere like this and that's 0600. Okay. Now let's say we we press L to move the head to the right one. So the head moves here. This becomes a body character. And so now the head is at 0601. So now the head moves here in video RAM. This becomes a body character. We put the new head location, we add that to our list here, and we just we just keep dropping it in the next spot. So we uh, put 0106, so 0601, we put that here, and so now we have a pointer pointing to the new head character. We don't do anything to the old one, because it's still pointing to that, to what was the head character, which is now a body character. So each time we move, we just add the new location to this list, and we just keep going down however far we need to go. So 0601 points there, and now we need to increment head P to point to this new pointer that points to the head character. Now, when I say increment, normally when you increment a value, you just add one to it. 
with pointers, it's a little different. When you do pointer arithmetic, you generally, if you increment a pointer, you want to increment it enough so that it points to the next thing that it's pointing to, the next thing in the list. So in this case, since these pointers are pointing to other pointers, to get from this pointer to this pointer, we can't just add one, we need to add two because we're going from 2000 to 2002. So every time we say we increment head P or tail P, we really mean add two to it. It's really going to be, in code, it's going to be ink Y, um, not ink Y. In code, it's going to be ink head P, ink head P. You're going to increment it twice just to add two to it. It's faster to do that than to add than to actually add two to it. It's faster to just increment it twice. But anyway, um, so we need to add two to head p because what that does then is it moves so that that's now pointing to the next thing in the list. That's now pointing there. So if you look at that, then you've got head p is now holds two thousand two, which points to this pointer which holds 0601, which points to the location of the, of the new head character. So head P is always going to be tracking the head character that way. Now we don't want to increment tail P yet because we're fine with leaving the tail there. Now let's, let's say we want our worm to get a maximum of five sections okay, for the purpose of our demonstration here. So it's not up to five yet, so the tail can stay there. All right, so we have the head at 601, we have the tail at 600, and our, and our pointers to pointers reflect that. Now let's move the head down. Let's press J to move it down one, which is going to leave behind a body character. This new location then, you'd have to add 40 to it, you're going to get 0629. So now the head comes down to 0629, leaves behind a body character. And by the way, you, you know, two things that are because of the way the screen memory is laid out, it's the, the memory locations just go across in rows. So two things that are right next to each other on the screen aren't necessarily next to each other in memory. And so it's, that's why I, that's why I'm drawing it both ways here, so we can kind of keep track of the difference between the two. Um, so we've got a new head character, so we need to do all the same process as we did before. We need to add that new location to our pointer list, and so that's 0629. That points to 0629. We need to increment our head P again by two, so now it points to 2004, which brings it down to here. So head P now points 2004 and the, the value 2004 is 0629 which points to where the new head character is. The tail, the tail P can still stay the same because that is still where the tail of our worm is back here at 0600. Okay. Now let's press L or let's press H to go left. So now the worm head moves to there. And that is going to be 0628. So now the head moves back one to 0628. That becomes a body character. 0628 gets added. Whoops, little Indian. 0628 gets added here. That points to 0628. We increment head P again by 2, 2006. So now head P points to 2006, which points to 0628. TLP stays the same because our worm still isn't five sections long. Okay. And you know you can see we're just going to keep walk we're going to keep walking through here. We just have to go a couple more before we we see the full um, implications of all this. Let's go left one more time. So that becomes a body character. Now the head is here. This is 0627. So the head moves to 0627. Um, we get a new head, we get a new location in the address list here, 0627 in our pointer list. That points to right there. 
head P gets incremented by 2 again, 2008. So now it points down here. So head P points 2008, which points to 0627, and there's our head. And our, and our worm is now five sections long, so we still don't want to get rid of the tail. You know, we still don't want to do anything with the tail. It still points to back up here where we started. <clears throat> okay, let's move it one more time. Let's move it down. That is going to move it to... Um, that's going to be 064F. I didn't just do that in my head. I figured it out earlier. Um, so now the head comes down to 064F. And that becomes a, the previous head becomes a body character. The new location gets added here to the list. The next spot in the list. So that it points there. Head P gets incremented by 2 to 0A. So that now it points to... 2000A, which points to the new head character. But now, our worm is too long. Now we've got a six-piece worm. So the question is, which which one of these do we get rid of? Which one is the tail? Well, we know which one is the tail because we have tail P. So tail P points to 2000, which says the tail character right now, the, the, the oldest character you could say in the worm, is at six, 600. So we can then turn 600 in, back into a space, just get rid of it, get rid of that tail character, which is going to get rid of that. Let's see, did I... hope I'm counting right here. Yeah, so that, get, that got rid of where the, where the worm started, the oldest part of the worm. And now we need to increment tail P as well, which again is going to be incremented by 2 because we're walking through a list of pointers. So this is going to go up to 2002, so that it now points to here. So now it points to 0601, which is right here. So you could, that way you know, because otherwise you wouldn't necessarily, I mean, you can tell just because this one's so small, you can tell if this is the head, this has to be the tail. But you couldn't tell that before when it was like this, because the worm could have gone like this, or it could have gone like this. So you... That's why we have to have this list, so we can actually tell this is the head, then this is next to it, this is next to it, this is next to it, and this is the tail. So let's do one more. Let's move it to the right. It's going to come to here. And that's going to be 0650. So the head is going to come to here. This comes body character. That gets added to the list. 0650, so that it points there. Head P gets incremented to 0C, so that it points down to the new head location, or it points to the new pointer to the head location. That's you got you to always keep these things straight. You don't always necessarily say them straight, but you got to keep them straight. Now our worm is too long again, so we have to delete, delete the tail character. We look, tail P points to 2002 which points to 601, so we go to 601, turn that into a space on our screen here, that's going to get rid of that one, and whoops, I forgot to turn this one into a body character, and then we also need to increment tail P to 2004, again increment it by 2, which causes it to point down here, and so now our new tail um, character is 629, which is this one here. So we know that our worm is going that way. So now when it moves again, it'll get rid of that one. So this is just sort of a, you know, so right now, here's the head and here's the tail. These locations don't matter. These pointers don't matter anymore. They, they just point to empty locations in the screen now. But that's fine because we know that the head character, you know, that Wherever head P points to, that holds the location of the head character, which right now is at 650. Tail P points to a pointer that points to the location of the tail character, which right now is 629. 629, and the ones in between it are body characters. So, you know, when the head when the head P moves down here, tail P is going to move to here. 
unless our unless our tail, worm gets longer, and that'll be the next thing we'll figure out is well, when the worm gets longer, basically we'll have to stop moving tail p while the while the head moves ahead and lets allows the worm to get longer. But you're always going to have a chunk somewhere in this 2,000 to 27 ff range. You're always going to have a chunk that goes from head p to tail p that describes your worm, describes, it's, it's a list of the locations of your worm from head to tail. And if you actually play long enough, steer your worm around long enough that this reaches the bottom of 27 FF, it's going to have to be able to roll around to the top because we can't have it just go through all the memory in the computer and start trashing things. So we've got to be, we've got to have it roll around to the top and be smart about that so that it can still figure out what's what. Um, so that, I think, I think that pretty well covers it. Um, you just have to remember, you know, head P and tail P don't point to video locations. They point to pointers, which point to video locations. That's why we call them double pointers or pointers to pointers. And that's the hardest part, probably, to get straight. I, this is take two on this video because I did it once with the video location written in here for a long time until I realized that I was doing it wrong. Um, once I started actually working with tail P, I realized I had it wrong on the board the whole time. So you have to remember that, that these only, these point to these, and these point to these, and don't get them mixed up. Um, and the other thing is you have to remember, when you increment these, you're always incrementing them by two, because your pointers are two bytes long. And so you, you want to move, to move from one pointer to the next, you've got to add two, and add two, and add two. And uh, if you added one, you know, if you said, well, this is the pointer right here, then you have an address that doesn't make any sense. It doesn't fit into our system here. 0106, that's, that's uh, something in the stack, and then you, your program is going to crash. So that is how you do pointers to pointers. That's what we're going to be working on going forward in the next video. Um, we already have head P doing this, so we've got to add the ability for tail P to do it and when to do it based on the length of the worm and also deal with the what happens when you get to the end. So that's what's coming up and I hope this was helpful and thank you for watching.